Doma Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now concussion, you know, hey, concussion. Then you're talking Deontay Wilder, right? Former heavyweight champ, WBC style. One of the hardest punches the boxing world has ever seen, especially for his size, right? Skinny guys, skinny legs, all that old good stuff. But people get knocked the hell out. And, uh, you know, there's people when you see people on, on, the, on the ground with convulsions and getting knocked out with one punches and stuff like that. Then you're going to have your reservations about facing them. Brings me to one of the legends of the sport right now. And that would be Alexander Uzik. Alexander Uzi is a legend of the sport, in my opinion. Uh, his undisputed run at uh, the cruiserweight division was almost unprecedented, in my opinion, because of the simple fact he went to everybody's backyard to beat them directly in their backyard. If it was Marco Huck in Berlin, if it was Maurice Brightus in Latvia, if it was Marit Gossiev in Russia, uh, prior to that, beating uh, Michael Hunter in America, beating Joe Joyce, uh, in this, in those six round tournaments, also beating after the tournament, going over to England, beating Tony Bellew, right? Then moving up to beat Joshua two times, you know, as well. Most of the time at their house. So, you know, what we're talking about here is somebody who's a road warrior. Uh, you know, no negotiation problems, handling his business, and of late, basically them punked out Tyson Fury, who's six nine, two hundred seventy pounds, and didn't want to fight him, even though he agreed to thirty percent. Legendary. OK, and the reason why, if, if you if you don't think he's legendary, then tell me your fighter. Right. Who goes to somebody else's backyard to beat him up. Right. F first of all, because then we only have a couple. Because if the name ain't Julius Ndungo, then I don't know who the hell you're talking about. You see what I'm saying? Going to your backyard to challenge you and beating you there, especially without punching power or not that much, meaning that I know I'm going to beat the hell out of you good enough that the people that are your judges in your town are going to still go for me. To have done that and become undisputed in the cruiserweight division and then moving up to heavyweight raising hell, you're a legend, right? But be that as it may, everybody has those opponents that they don't quite fancy, Everybody throughout heavyweight history, right? Everybody throughout boxing history, actually, but heavyweight history for sure. All of the greats will tell you, hey, man, you know, I wasn't really in a rush to mess with this one. I didn't want to rematch this guy and this and that. That was a tough guy because they get in their rings and find out that they're tough or they find out beforehand he just is not a matchup that I kind of really want to do if I don't have to. And that brings me to Ozick again. Alexander Ozick is supposed to be terrified of Deontay Wilder. According to Deontay Wilder, they've offered him a lot of money several times to fight him, and it hasn't happened. Uh, Alexander Ozick don't really want that, that problem. Um, do I believe that? Yes, I do. Even though y'all know I roll with Alexander Ozick, I roll with Deontay Wilder as well. Y'all know that. I think that Alexander Ozick ain't in a rush to fight him if it's not for all the marbles. If it was for Undisputed, then I think he would do it. But if I don't have to fight Deontay Wilder, right? Because I do get hit by lesser fighters, by shorter fighters, by fighters that are slower than him, right? So I'm he's going to touch me a time or two, and I ain't trying to let that happen if I ain't supposed to. So it's a common sense thing here, right? Yeah, I ain't in a rush to fight Deontay Wilder if I ain't got to. I can fight Tyson Fury because that's undisputed, and he don't hit as hard. Uh, this Daniel Dubois is slow and, 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 and lumbering. I can my quickness is going to mean a whole lot against him, right? Uh, and it's a mandatory. I don't really have to fight Deontay Wilder. So yes, I believe that. I believe every fighter has the one of two fighters that they ain't in a rush to fight, right? And uh, so that's not something. It's not a knock on Uzik because he probably uh, don't want to fight Deontay Wilder. Has turned down that fight on several occasions. Yes, I believe that. Uh, let's see what happens going forward. If Deontay Wilder can get himself in a position where you know he has to fight him or something, you know, by knocking out Anthony Joshua or something, and and then that fight's there. Let's see what happens. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go with yeah. I think that Alexander Ozick does have his reservations about fighting Deontay Wilder, especially, especially if it's not for all the marbles. Wouldn't you have reservations fighting Deontay Wilder, whoever the hell you are? Yeah, I think you would. Especially for nothing. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.